What's up guys? We get to cut the episode pretty short last week. Um, we ran into a few little issues. We have to take the bumper beam back off and while we were doing that, we didn't get a chance to film it, but I ended up breaking the nut inside the chassis and that's pretty much just letting a bolt spin around and prevents me from pulling this beam off. Um, I still have other bolts I have to take off from the canister bracket, or not the canister bracket, but the charcoal canister underneath. Um, from there, we're going to take the quarter panel off and um, cut more metal out of the car. So, quite a few things to do today. I don't know how long it's going to take. I don't know how much we're going to be able to film. Um, but uh, hopefully there's going to be more action than me talking today, at least on this episode. Um, Dallas is on his way with his WRX and he's going to help me do a few things and help me film. Um, drove here and literally forgot the hole saw, which is the one thing that I needed to work on this car. That is for me to put a hole in the floorboard to get that nut out. So I forgot that in the apartment, so I will be back in about 20 minutes and for you guys that will be like 2 seconds, 2 seconds, 4, can't count, derp, math. Okay, that's it. Be back. Don't hurt yourself. No promises here. This is America. We don't make promises. If we had a pilot hole, if you actually get a... Do we have any other drill bit other than that middle drill bit? Um... I can check around. Other than this light, hold on. <laughs> Look how not centered it is. <laughs> yeah, it's not centered. It's really easy to drill with. I know. I'm a professional. Try this again. No. Put on high. Well, if we don't get through it, we'll scratch through it. Yeah, dude, whatever works. Now that we've drilled the pilot hole, and the thing is off center, we've guaranteed that it is going to behave retarded. Did you see that? No. <laughs> I had all my weight on the drill and it broke through, so I just like whoop, your little trunk lock for a second my fucking head. <laughs> <laughs> This is surely the most ghetto way to do it. Yeah, but like we don't have It works. Christmas for drill. what they meant when they said speed holes, right? Yeah. Smack, smack. Fat, 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 fat. I mean... Oh, we got a hole. That's what you wanted, right? Yeah, right? Oh, okay. Maybe I won't go that hard. So I'm a biscuit! Mm. Holy fucking nuts. Got no fucking balls to it. Oh, look at that. That right there is the culprit. It's a 19 millimeter, and we're gonna go ahead and try to pull this out. Focus, you son of a bitch! <clears throat> okay. You need an extension? I need. You're turning it left. This is our method. No, I'm doing something. Like that. Fuck yeah, we broke the bolt. Fuck yeah. Fuck that bolt. Fuck that bitch. Cool. So now it's just undoing the ones for the canister. The charcoal canister up here. I knew the Brendan method would work. <laughs> yeah? Is yeah. that what we're going to name it? The Brendan method? Well, that's how we got my exhaust off last. Remember, you just snapped all the bolts. Mm, so smooth. Surprising. Maybe I should just use the gun. Famous last nice words.
Yeah, the more you jerk it, the more it works. Yes. That's how you do this. Talking about the car, the bolt. Yeah, not my bolt. The car okay. Bolt. <laughs> Rick James, bitch. Son of a bitch, fuck yeah. Mm. Done. <sighs> you weren't done, were you? No. So Dallas is on his way back to his apartment. So I'm taking a quick break. Just uh. Eating some Starbursts. I really like Starbursts. They're so good. You have mm, They're so fucking good. But, uh, yeah, feel free to send me Starbursts because I really like them. I really like them. Please don't snap. Oh, fuck, did I break it? Did I fucking break it? I. I totally fucking broke it. I fucking broke it. Fuck me. Fuck. Mm. Fuck Vermont and it's fucking rust, dude. I have to buy another bracket from Subaru. How the fuck do I pull this thing off and out of here? Alright, so the charcoal canister has been pulled. Ugh. And we are definitely not going to need this anytime soon. So that's his new home for now. We got one more bolt underneath. Let me get under there. Let me see if I can get this to focus. We got that one last bolt to get out. I need a hammer. I'm going to smack the fuck out of this thing. You see all this shit coming out of there? Holy shit! <laughs> Holy fuck! Gross. Get the bar of doom. Oh yeah, daddy. Oh yeah. So far, so good. So Gucci like butter. See, to get this off, I only had to cut a fucking hole through my floor. Oh my fucking, oh! Yeah, I love that. Oh. So, I think I got all the bolts out of here, so I should, fuck you big Bertha, so I should be able to pull this beam out of here, yup, yup, so you guys can tell how crusty this beam is, like you guys think you got it bad, that was where our hole was. And that's where the nut was on the inside right there. But um Yeah, so this is out now. trying to beat this metal piece back to being somewhat flat because this does not look like that or at least it's not supposed to look like that yeah that panel got pretty fucked up I don't know anything about bodywork whatsoever like a few YouTube DIYs and shit like that but literally don't know how to straighten metal out so these two are my best fucking friends right now
I never got a chance to show you guys what all the spot welds look like, so let me detach the camera. So these right here are the spot weld holes, and some of them are hidden by the silicone that the factory put on. So at this point it's drill, 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 drill. Try to separate this piece of metal out of here. We got it out. Cool. I just want to give a big thanks to Dallas for coming out here tonight to help me pull off the um, bumper beam. And, you know, just the people that do watch this, it's not a very big channel. And I'm still super camera shy and I don't like talking to the camera a lot. Um, so this is all new to me, this whole YouTube thing. I mean, I don't plan on making like a career out of it. I'm definitely having fun with it, but it would be cool to have it turn into something. But this is just for myself, you know, to keep track of the things that I do on the car. And it's just more of, it's more sentimental to me, just because I've had this car for so long and I've just been meaning to give it a makeover. So most of the things that I'm doing, there's no instructions for. I'm just kind of going at it. Um, I just have Seth you know, and his advice and what he can tell me what I should do and what I shouldn't do. But, um, it's, it's slowly making progress. Um, I'm sure that this will be done by, I don't know, the next two weeks, maybe. Uh -oh. Ooh. So we have a lot more coming. Um, like you saw, there's new wheels, um, lug nuts. We have a motor, which I really don't want to get into right now. But there is a motor in the works. It's going to be a while before it gets swapped. Um, but it has had its manual conversion already, which was the big thing two years ago that I did on it after a month of owning it. So just stay tuned. There's a lot more coming. We're going to be doing stuff to this, to the Bug Eye, possibly Dallas's new WRX. Um, we've got Reed's Turbo Civic. We've got Chris's... Um, Legacy Outback GT, just lots of stuff, lots of new content. Um, like I was saying in the video before, we're going to be doing car reviews. So this is going to conclude everything that we're going to do today. Um, there's a lot more coming, so please stay tuned. Please like, subscribe, comment, check out the Big Cartel page. You know, give me a follow on Instagram, say hey. You know, follow my friends. You know, Dallas came out, you know, and spent whatever time he had left tonight to come and help me out. So I really appreciate that. Lots more coming, guys. Like, I'm really excited to show you what we have in store for this car. And like I said in the vlog before, DIY videos are on the way for the Bug Eye. And we're just going to do some crazy, nutty-ass shit to it. And I think you guys are going to love it. So even though this is a small channel and there's not many people that know about it, um, I'd hope that it gets to the point where more people start to watch and more people start to subscribe because it means a lot to me that you guys spend the time to sit down and waste five minutes of your life on this. So I really appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Peace out.